The following might sound a bit facetious, but bear with me for a moment, because it will lead us to somewhere very interesting. The reason why I'm saying it's facetious is because what I'm going to say next will exactly sound like that. You see, antinatalists do like to talk about such concepts as the amount of suffering in reality. And they like to present this as something objective. Now, first of all, true objectivity is, in my opinion, impossible anyway, because it would require a separation from the objective observer needs to stand apart from that which they are objective. If you are in any way engaged with what you are object, uh, observing, then your observation cannot be objective. But in reality, there is no such thing as a complete separation of observer and what is being observed anyway. So true objectivity is impossible. But even if we set that aside for a moment and we accept that on a more pragmatic level there is such a thing as objectivity and there are such things that can be measured in ways that can be communicated with other people and can be compared to other things. Then we start seeing where the problem lies with assuming, with conceptualizing something such as the total amount of suffering in reality. Because if you are talking about something like that, I would have to start asking questions such as, okay, what are you going to measure this with? Is there such a thing as a sufferometer? What is the unit of suffering? And the reason why such questions are as absurd as they are is because, of course, suffering is a subjective thing. It is a personal, a personal evaluation of what you are going through. The pain that you are feeling, the discomfort, the embarrassment, anything like that, you yourself decide for yourself how severe that suffering is to you. But as a result, of course, there is no such thing as a total amount of suffering in reality. You cannot talk about the amount of suffering within reality, because every instance of suffering is a personal experience. With the extinction of individuals from reality, with the removal of any entity that is capable of conceiving of something such as suffering, the total amount of suffering in reality isn't affected because there is no such thing as a total amount of suffering. And with the complete absence of sentience from reality, the whole concept is completely out of the window. Therefore, once again, and logic, I keep saying this, is a bitch, but in a reality in which there is no sentience, nothing has been achieved. The absence of suffering, as the antenatalist would put it, matters to exactly nobody.